Uh, hey guys, welcome uh, hey to guys, CPC welcome. Talks, presented uh, to you by CPC Gaming Media. Um, we're all your hosts today, actually, because it's a segment for everyone to contribute. Um, I'm Ace Virtue. Hi, I'm Kita Cat. SideQuest K, also known as Brooklyn Tengu. Hey, I'm Egypt, also known as Chronic. <laughs> and today we'll be talking about our take on the best and worst bosses in video games. So we all know that there's good bosses and bad bosses. Um, <clears throat> we've all faced bosses that made us cringe, made us cry, made us do things that break games. I mean, throw controllers. I think I broke a game. Yeah, I see that too. I think I broke a game once. Um, but then we also have bosses that we're like, eh, they could have did better. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So to kick it off, I am going to go with Metal Gear Solid. Um, I don't think Metal Gear Solid has any horrible bosses, in my opinion. All their bosses are kind of are cool and different and unique. Um, all of them have weird and mostly depressing sad stories, um, backstories. Um, but my best for today, which there's many, be there's many best bosses in Metal Gear Solid, so shout out to Metal Gear Solid for your boss compilation. Um, but my best is the boss from mm -hmm. Metal Gear Solid 3. And I was gonna say my worst and it's not it's not really worse because it's not worse as in battle, but it's the it's the best worst I could find in Metal Gear Solid. Mm -hmm. So I said the sorrow. Um the boss as far as the hand to hand combat, because that's always fun to do in a Metal Gear Solid game because it's about, you know, CQC and mm -hmm. military style combat and weaponry and all of that. But when the chips are down and you know it's the last stretch you know they always put pitch you in a situation where you have to like really show your skills and and you know you always get that last boss that's like you know what come on let's go we, yeah. i'm ready like <laughs> let's go so the boss uh yeah so the boss in my opinion was one of, was one of them that's it's not the only one so i'm not saying that um and then the sorrow just because it wasn't really a boss fight it was basically going through the motions literally you going through this sea of of sadness and all of soldiers that died and all other stuff so it wasn't really a boss fight to me so i say i say the worst not really saying that it's the worst but it's just the least satisfying out of the bosses you know and then if you didn't kill anybody that was like especially whack like yeah because no one would be there right yeah, yeah. So. So y'all could comment on that um, experience if you want. <laughs> I used to hate when she like shoot you and knock you down with the quick spray. Mm. And then I think um, when you seek you seed her or something and you knock her down and she gets back up, she does some kind of move. Yeah. That would have yeah. that knocks you down. Right. It's like, it like always knocking you down all the damn time. And she was like super camouflaged in those white. Yes, well, that's mm -hmm. I was about to oh, say. Like, to say? <laughs> off from you in mid fight, and then come back and just like, yo, did you just, yo, like a lioness or something? Yeah, right. Something. And she had the the leopard. Was it the, the leopard black and white um suit thing? Um, was it was yeah. it like a black and white suit thing? Or might might think about somebody else. Probably somebody else. Yeah, all, I think she still wore white. It was all white. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it was probably with a little bit of black lines, but it was probably it was mainly white for sure, though. Were you able and to hide from her as well if you wore white? I think it helped. I don't remember. I think you like, could. It was one of them that you could wear. It was one of the suits. I'm not sure whether yeah. it was white. It mm -hmm. was one of those weird suits you could wear. You could hide a little from her, though. I do mm -hmm. remember that. I don't remember if it was like a full hide or if it was like help you camouflage or something. But I think, yeah, I think you're right about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, that was that's mine, <laughs> Kita. Uh, so for me, I guess I'll go with my go-to's in JRPG. 
Um, I kind of went within the Final Fantasy series, and I went with my best boss is Sephiroth mm. for a lot of reasons. Mm-hmm. Um, not only was it a good challenge in fighting him, mm-hmm. um, and I mean, this isn't just in Final Fantasy VII. He appears in Kingdom Hearts, and he is still quite a challenge to beat. Mm-hmm. So that that's a good boss. And then his backstory mm-hmm. is good, and, well, he's Sephiroth. Um <laughs> For my worst in the Final Fantasy Ooh. series, hmm? <laughs> my worst in the Final Fantasy series would be Jack Garland from Final Fantasy One and Final Fantasy Origins. Mm. Um, so in Final Fantasy One, okay, we get it. He's a really hard boss. Cool, loved it. Then in Stranger of Paradise Origin story, we actually find out why he becomes the villain that he becomes. I, I thought it was silly. I thought it was the silliest origin story. The last battle was upsetting because you fight yourself. It's stressful. He stresses me out. Yeah, Jack Harlow. Jack (laughs) Harlow. That's upsetting. Jack Harlow. going to drop a new album. I don't know. (laughs) Jack Harlow. You can't. You can't argue with Sephiroth. That's a. Mm -hmm. That's an inarguable. Yeah, not real. He's the goat. Yeah, one of them. One of the goats. (laughs) <laughs> I mean, if you think about it, though, he's been getting his ass beat a lot, mm. <laughs> despite being as nasty as he is. But he's like he's like a staple in Final Fantasy. Like you can't mm. you can't you can't know Final Fantasy unless you know Sephiroth. Mm-hmm. That's like that's like one of the characters like you have to know. Iconic, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now Jack Garland, um, I haven't played Origins or one, so I can't mm. really comment on that. When you do, you'll mm-hmm. fully understand what I'm saying. You okay. will literally like send out a message at three o'clock in the morning, going, "Why is he like this?" I is promise it, you. It's probably like a um, John Wick, John Wick origin story. My, story. my dog died. So I guess you have a choice. You want a war, or do you want to just give me a gun? I uh, wish it made that much sense, but no. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> Tango's next. I'm going to go to uh, beat him up. Let's start there. Um, my best boss was uh, Mitsuru Koroiwa in Judgment. Mm-hmm. He is a detective who um, basically doubles as a serial killer. So um, he looks good on the outside, but he's a very rotten and evil person. Uh, and uh, Drew, I think you watched me uh, with that you last boss fight the in the hospital. Fight in the hospital. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> His kung fu is very good. Um, it basically mirrors your style in the game, except um, his style is more uh, combined and comprehensive, whereas yours is like switch to one style or the other. Mm-hmm. This is a combination. And he was really beating my ass. He got me to um, just a little bit of red life to the point where I used up um, all of my health items and I had to throw chairs at him. But <laughs> I eventually got him, and uh, that was that was a good fight. I really enjoyed that one. Um, the worst... For me, in a beat 'em up was uh, Shenmu 3, Landi. Um, he felt very untouchable. Um, he basically blocked and parried every single attack. Um, I feel like after all of this time, this training, this journey that Ryo Hazuki has been on, he should at least have been able to touch Landi, if not even hurt him, at least touch him to the point where Landi felt not so intimidated, but like. Oh, okay. You are finally getting, you know, you're getting better. You're doing something. You're becoming worthy of me, you know? But in Shenmue 3, it you still felt like nothing. Felt pathetic. Mm-hmm. I'll and, uh, comment uh, on um the Landy thing first because mm-hmm. we've been waiting what 16, 18, mm-hmm. how many 20 years? years. <laughs> this 20 years. Wow. Third game and yeah. we still mm-hmm. can't touch like you are really pushing it right now. Who who is that? Sega? Mhm. No, no, really... no, um, Sega dropped it, so it was just um independent. Yu Suzuki. Independent oh well, Yu Suzuki need to get they shit together because yeah. Landy need to be touched at some point because I haven't been waiting sixteen years for a game just so I could be he could be invisible while I'm fighting him. That's that's disheartening. It's like Metal Gear Five. You ran out of budget right at the last boss. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, you know. But I mean, I understand you're trying to you're trying to stretch it again mm-hmm. to make it like a series again. So I guess you're gonna fight those. What are they like four? 
the la- the lady four kings yeah kings, yeah, yeah so you're gonna sure. fight eventually but i need to be able to touch landy at some point like i'm i'm still not good after waiting 16 18 years 16 whatever 18 years or whatever for this game i'm still not good yet mm-hmm. right, exactly I don't, I don't think we're ever gonna fight them <laughs> at this point uh. <laughs> egypt hello okay so um my bad um, so I'm going to start off with the hack and slash and go with, uh, for best, I'm going to go with DMC five, mm. um, episode 20 in the game. When you, it is Virgil versus Nero mm. or how best to put it. Um, you honestly, you can just beat the shit out of Virgil. Like, um, mm. it's. You know, he develops his devil power, so, like, you have these new powers you can do, so I can whoop your ass twice. I mean, it's just a great experience and kind of satisfying mm-hmm. uh, since the player has went through so much, honestly. So, finally, that now we're, you know, here, I don't, it, it's just satisfying. It's extremely satisfying. You're souped up. You have wings. You mm-hmm. have a devil, uh, you have a devil trigger now, Um you're able to use it, like mm. use it more than uh, for the bar. Like they give it to you. Mm. They give you an infinite bar for a little mm-hmm. while. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, it starts to go down. But you can kick his ass before, depending on the player. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm going to immediately go over to worse. Um, same hack and slash genre. Mm-hmm. Um, it's episode 19, which is Dante versus mm-hmm. Virgil. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was Very disappointed. Um, <laughs> I'm not. Well, the disappointment can go. It's it can go left or right. Um, it's just that that whole fight, especially depending on the difficulty, mm-hmm. it all depends on the player. Um, mm-hmm. No matter how good you are with Dante as well, that fight's a little different. Um, mm-hmm. One side. Yes, actually, you only have certain time frames or phases that is where you're actually able to attack Virgil Mm -hmm. to where that fight can prolong for like 30, 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. And if if you survive, you know, that long and then to make it worse, when you finally make it to half health of him, he fucking devil triggers. So Mm -hmm. it's like there's another Virgil walking around. Oh, I, it, it could get frustrating, you know. That that's crazy because it's like I understand. I think I understand why you chose that. But um, just a comment on top of that is that for years they've been fighting each other, mm. equally matched. You know, no one can win. Whatever, whatever. But I feel like they made the um, Nero fight mm. like Dante, like Nero's better than Dante, kind of. Mm-hmm. And I don't think that's fair. Mm-hmm. But yeah. because oh, like oh, Verge, yeah. huh? Yeah, because Virgil yeah. and Dante's been like head to head, like equally matched all this time. But I feel like when you play with Virgil or Nero, it's so like, like Aspel. Yeah, it's like yeah. you, <laughs> like why why isn't Virgil weekend? Mm. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah, but it's yeah. They claim but it's a beautiful, beautiful game though. So. Mm. It is. It, it is. They claim just a, a comment on the comment. They mm. claim that um. It's only like that because Virgil is tired out from the previous fight with Dante. Or is it? Yeah. He, it's a fight right after a fight. And oh, then they okay, okay. Four mm-hmm. hand two mm-hmm. in his, uh, that yes. little whatever yeah. form. Okay. So that's what the claim is on why he was so OP towards Virgil mm. versus why is he kicking my ass with Dante. Mm. Okay. I mean, if I had that's to compare. That's the excuse they want to use. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, it's just, you know, apparently. Mm. You know, that's what they claim. I compare it though to um, the DMC three Virgil and uh, Dante fight or the DMC um, Ninja Theory game. Um, I kind of enjoyed those as well. And they were DM- uh, very... DMC the emo one. Yeah, yeah. The, oh. the last fight with Virgil. Mm-hmm. That was. Um, I think that's where they got the doppelganger. Well, yeah, that's where they got it from. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one. No, that's one way he got like the little hat. Yeah, but he, he, had he, a hat. Threw that, yeah, he threw that oh, away so early. So, um, no, was, <laughs> nah, but he behaved a lot like his um, original self. So that was um pretty. Those are pretty fun fights as well. But is is DMC um canon or is that like a side story? Is that like Al- some... alternate universe? They say, but um, you know, here nor there. They haven't really decided to be mm-hmm. honest. 
it does fall in line with three, though, if you think about it. Not the whole, not the whole. And maybe two, two fell short a little bit, but I'll, I'll go on, I'll go on. We'll have a, we'll have, we'll have a. We will we'll never talk a, about two. We'll have a don't make right talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, so next series I'm going to go to um, is Silent Hill. So, of course, everybody's going to be like, oh. Fathers of or the founding fathers or, and mothers of, of the town. Mm-hmm. So they had to sacrifice their children in order to appe- <clears throat> appease the town, you know, lords or whatever. So um, all the parents sacrificed their children and heard that child, the manifestation, because they, they suffocated the child. Mm-hmm. So when her manifestation of that, I guess, grief and anger and all of that came up, it was like this creature that looked like... Um, anybody seen the Human Centipede um, movie? Mm-hmm. With the doctor that sews the mouth on the the butt, the butt on the mouth, and mm-hmm. the other one with the, yeah. She so it looked like, yeah. Oh, you saw okay. So it looked the creature looked like that, but for me, it's the best boss because of the the backstory, oh. also, and also the design of the creature is is it just reminded me of the human centipede to creep me out, and I just mm. didn't want to be next to it when I was fighting it. Mm. Um, so that's what, but you know, Silent Hill has a history of creeping you out and making you. So you didn't want to be next to it, but you didn't want to hit it either? Like, just... Well, I think I had a pipe. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to, me. like, I had to hit her. With... Yeah. And then it's creepy because the whole fight, she's, like, doing this, like, weird shortness of breath thing. Oh. So you, you kind of get the feeling. You're kind of in that feeling of, like, the child being suffocated and all that stuff. Mm. Mm. Not to be creepy, mm. but it just, you know, pe- for people who like horror movies and stuff. You know? Disturbing sounds. Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and my worst is probably Walter Sullivan from Silent Hill: The Room. Oh. <laughs> Only because that last fight was bullshit. Because she was walking into the circular thing, the pool of blood. Yeah, yeah, and she's gonna get killed if she walks into it if you don't kill him in time. And I'm like, first of all, the mechanics of the game. I'm too damn slow to be fighting him the way he. I need to be fighting him. Mm-hmm. I gotta, I gotta survive with like these limited ass bullets and weapons mm-hmm. that you're trying to give me. He's like the final boss. He's been chasing me the whole entire game, creeping mm-hmm. me out, trying to do weird shit. And now you want me to fight him at the end to save this bitch from jumping into the damn thing. And the camera keeps cutting over to her and interrupting the fight. Right. Yeah. So and he <laughs> runs out of breath so easily. Like he'll stop and be like, right. <sighs> so I thought that whole fight was like BS. Cause I'm like, I'm never going to win. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't know if anybody has anybody played Homecoming or The Room. Okay, Keita did. Okay. Do you remember Walter Sullivan? Sullivan? I do. Okay. Do you? Okay. okay. I believe I cried on that one. Uh, yeah. I got so frustrated. <laughs> so frustrated. <laughs> just like, <laughs> and the thing is, like, he's chasing you the whole entire game, so you don't want him to win. You don't want him to have an upper hand, but it's like he's gonna have the upper hand at, regardless. <laughs> Were you supposed to like use the spears though, exclusively? Yeah, I think you're supposed to use that and the sort of um. But judgment or sort of uh, something. Oh, but you left it in the enemy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, because you have to leave it to have, stop them from cha- like it's, yeah. it's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But. It's a whole. It's like a puzzle and a fight <laughs> at the right. same time. Limited bullets. You know, you don't get that many bullets throughout the whole entire game, no matter what difficulty you put it on. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> but, um, shit. Yeah, Kita. <clears throat> uh well. Staying in that realm for my horror car- category, um, for my, my worst boss, I did put Pyramid Head. Um, I agree. Mm-hmm. Mostly because um, he, he was definitely doing some smexual positions throughout the game. It was very stressful, and I thoroughly believe that man is real. Um, mm-hmm. You have to understand, where I grew up, it was a very foggy town at mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of fog in that game, and guess who pops out of the fog? Your boy, Pyramid Head. So, um, nah, yeah, he's the worst, because I'm scarred for life. And the um, flying monsters. Oh, my God. And the first one that just picked you up yeah. and take you to Neverland? Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're stressful. <laughs> very, very stressful. <laughs> 
I don't even yeah. know where they take you. The game just ends. Like, you die. I'm like, but never where did I go? Because you ain't never going to get out. Never ever. Exactly. <laughs> uh, for my best in the horror category, I did put Nemesis from Resident Evil. Um, he was such... <laughs> he was fun to kill, though. Like, like, he was a fun fight. It was Which... like, you can pull up the bazooka launchers and everything, and he would just get back up. And I'm like, great, because I've got more. It is it really is fun. it specifically um, just Nemesis overall? Is it from the original or from the remake? Is or is it just both? I personally prefer the original. I mean, the remake was still fun, mm-hmm. um, but I mean, either way, he was a good boss because if you saved up all of your ammo, I mean, the good ammo, the, mm-hmm. the rocket launchers, everything, mm-hmm. it, it was just fun. You could just unload on him, and he just kept getting back up. So I was like, "Yeah, come on, let's keep going." This is and then he fun. and then he gives you weapons when you drop. So you know, right. weapon mm-hmm. parts. You remember? Was that like twenty magnum shots to down him? To down them, um, or ten. Hit the regular, the regular nemesis that just chases you th- throughout the city, or the boss fight. No, I right, like in the um. Remember when you confront him? I think I watched you do this. In the not um, in the a- not in the acid. No, thing. in front of the police station, the first encounter. Oh, it was, a lot, of, it was a lot of shots for that first, that very first encounter. <laughs> yeah, I don't know yeah, why it was, was so many shots. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I got this, and this don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, Nemesis, one of the best stalkers. Mm-hmm. Nemesis is for sure one of the mm-hmm. best stalkers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nemesis and Sephiroth so far as the <laughs> and which oh, and uh, Virgil, Virgil too. Right. Virgil. Kita, which encounter would you say in three? I like the boss fight personally. I mean, yeah, which the... one? I mean, all of them. But preferably the boss fight, because that's when you're actually hurting him. So in the, in the other ones, it was the acid one, yes. Okay. Because before that, you're just running from him. I would put that acid one as the worst if we're doing boss encounters. Mm. And wow. I'll put, because it was hard to, um, you saw, you. I think you've seen it. It's hard to aim at those um, things that make the acid come out. Because when you're aiming at them, you're not mm. really aiming at them. And they, they won't open. They won't right. sh- get shot open. But you could you could have him punch it too and dodge out. Yeah, but, but the, you know yeah. that's hard too sometimes. <clears throat> and that fight like, took forever. I had to, I had to, yeah. I had to literally say, "I'm not doing this anymore," and just use all 200 and something of my handgun bullets because I had to kill him with handgun bullets for that fight. You could actually kill him without doing the acid. Mm. Mm. So I, I yeah. had to shoot. Yeah, I had to shoot him because I could not shoot those those <laughs> things. Ah, <clears throat> oh, I never tried it that way. Oh. Yeah, but it take no, it takes forever though. Mm-hmm. I think when he used to bust out, uh, he would break through the wall in where is it the police station mm-hmm. on the original one? Right. I we think should. that one used to probably scare the shit. He was so I agile for a big man. <laughs> Start hearing shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was probably and my work encounter fun, with him. Funny um Easter egg thing. When he breaks through the wall after you come out of the power plant in the remake, mm-hmm. he floats towards you. What? You see, you seen it. I remember, I, yeah, I, I saw, remember I doing, I, yeah, yeah. He floats so so that oh. you can't, because you you know that he comes out of there if you play the game, but they want to make it so that you can't really escape. Oh. So he floats, so he can wow. be in a certain position. To yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I do remember that. That's mm-hmm. fucked up. Flying yeah. nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> that's scary. All right, Tango. All right, so for the genre, it's going to be Souls games. Um, Uh-oh. I consider it hack and slash sometimes, or RPG, you know. But um, my best is going to be Slave Night Gale, Dark Souls 3. Okay. That one was, uh, yeah, me and you, we went through that one. So that was, <laughs> that yeah. was a good fight. You yeah. Know, it was being chased um, up the, the, the hillside. And, Hold uh, on, you talking about, is that the one? No, that's not the... um The Red Cape, and he was eating the... um. The uh, the dying um, kings and shit. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So um, you know, he transform and then he run up after us and he do this um jump attack. We had to time, learn the timing for the jump attack and dodge out the way. And right. you know, we started getting them, but um, he'd always come with his wild swings and get us. But that was um a very fun battle, I would say, compared to um the worst, which is Minamoto no Yorimitsu in Neo Two. Um. Mm-hmm. The woman demon slayer with the um the, I forgot the name of the sword, but um the way she moved, she was almost like the millennia of Neo. 
Like you just like it's lightning. Is fast. that the one that that um kept destroying? Yeah, the one that oh, okay. destroyed us in like two seconds because yeah, um yeah, yeah, yeah. she had like the draw move, she had the uh the rapid cutting moves, um just lightning fast. Um took away all your life in like one hit. It was mm-hmm. just insane. So um that was frustrating, even though we only tried a few times, but it was like fuck that at that time. We just did like a whole bunch of stages and I don't know, we never got back to it, so maybe we should try her again one day. Yeah. I agree. <clears throat> Um, so Souls games always have a way of making you separate in the with the boys from the men. <laughs> so, you know, they they make you yeah, they make you ha- they make you skilled in um certain things. Mm-hmm. Uh always although, that one boss though. Yeah. Huh? Always that one boss. I don't even know if it's just one. Because I'm I'm about to do souls when it's my turn. <laughs> but <laughs> good, yeah. All right, you do. Gotcha, gotcha. Hello. Um, okay. Well, I'm conflicted on picking between uh best and worst first, but uh screw it. I'ma just go with the best um first. Um the boss fight between Kazuya and Akuma from Tekken mm. 7 on the hardest difficulty. I thought about making this uh count as worse, but the boss fight is um it's honestly just too iconic to make that as the reason why I was going to make it into a worse is because you have to play as Kazuya. You're forced mm-hmm. to play as Kazuya against this hard as <laughs> health regenerating fast Shin Akuma. Fighter rules. He's using Street Fighter rules on <laughs> fucking Tekken. So that's already unfair. But um, yeah, so the players just, mm. just fucked up. Like. <laughs> But it's still a um, it counts as best still because beside the fact of you, you're forced to play with Kazuya, they give you a lot of uh, power ups pretty much. Um, one, mm-hmm. you're playing the Devil Kazuya for one. You can even put in a simple mode if you don't know how to play as him. So the game somewhat plays for you. So you do still you you kind of still have a chance. Um, but um. That's something it's it's pretty hard as well, you know, but that's still probably one of the best fights, I would say. Um, genre is fighting, but in Tekken, I'll say mm. now one of the worst, um, that I'm gonna quickly go over to as much as I love this game and love everything where it came from. <laughs> um, no one beat up the messenger, but oh, no one beat up the messenger, but uh, when you fight Kazuya at the end on i'm sorry tekken is the game tekken 2 um the last boss um when you're fighting kazuya at the Mm -hmm. end you can honestly choose your cheese whether you want to face the normal kazuya or devil fuck them both um but kazuya (laughs) he plays no it's honestly kazuya it's not i don't know what the fuck it is with devil kazuya like he slowed him down or something but Mm -hmm. kazuya man he fights you like he's not playing Tekken 2. You know, you're 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 blocked a certain movement. You know, you can't mm. just do this and do that and fucking he plays basketball with you, bro. Like he, mm. <laughs> he really beat the yeah. shit out of him like this. And I'm sure I'm not the only gamer that has said this either. Like, um, so I'm the only reason why I'm choosing this as worse, as iconic as this boss fight could be as well. Um, mm. because it's not a bad worse, you know, it's just damn, why y'all do me like that? Mm. But um because of the mechanics of the game you can't necessarily defend yourself against him the way how i would say you really should you kind of need to use tactics or spam Mm -hmm. cheat whatever whatever works in your favor or you know fight him head on but you would have to be you know there's a bar of gamers like there's an average (laughs) up there you know to be able to fight him head on hardest difficulty of course i'm talking about as well so that Mm, yeah, that's shit. any comments if uh, anyone wants. <laughs> no, I agree with that. that. Um, mm-hmm. I've been a basketball many times. <laughs> <laughs> I could get the basketball as a goddamn court, like, because <laughs> it's <just> mean. <laughs> Jugg- juggles, juggles, juggles. And he'll juggle. Mm. Mm-hmm. Unknown was- gave me problems too back in the day, yeah. Jim Pachi. Yeah, <laughs> we all had a 
a demon that destroyed us. They're demons, yeah. <laughs> unknown. They both was hard. Jim Pachi and unknown. Unknown. Mm-hmm. It's just, you know what it was? It's just John Kazama is a monster, too. So, if you think about it in her yeah. own right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Daryl. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we. <clears throat> On the hardest All difficulty right. at that, yeah. So I'm going to do the last, what, two, four, six, eight, eight quick. Um, if we if we just have time, I'll cut it out if it's too long. But um, I'm going to go back to Soulsborne. Mm-hmm. Um, best. Best. This is the millennia before millennia. Mm. Um, Sister Freed oh. was a part of the DLC for the Frozen mm-hmm. kind of world. Uh, mm. It was it was actually the world from Frozen mm-hmm. in Dark Souls Three. Um, Ar- Arendelle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so Sister Freed was one of the I think the nuns or priestesses or something, mm-hmm. and she used like these two scythes in both of her hands. And she has these like acrobatic moves, like it's like Millennia, it's like fighting Millennia. Mm. But mm. you know, I don't think the space was as wide as Millennia's. No, nah, especially mm. her, the the father right behind her fighting. Oh, not at all. Right. <laughs> so <laughs> taking up half the room and shit. Right. So she <laughs> was a monster before the monster Millennia. And remember, in uh, Elden Ring, you have a jump, so we don't have a jump in this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you have a jump, but it's harder to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a run. <laughs> right, so it's it's the combos and stuff in Dark Souls. Remember, it's a little watered down in um, Elden Ring, so mm-hmm. the fight is a little bit harder than mm-hmm. Millennia, mm-hmm. if that's even believable. Um, and my worst would probably be the Yarnum Queen in um, Bloodborne. She's the last boss in the uh, dungeons that you go through, the Chalice dungeons. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, she's only worse because she wasn't what I expected to be as a final boss in all of the, like, there's a lot of dungeons that you gotta go through, and she was the last last boss in all of them. She just wasn't what I expected, and I kind of destroyed her. Mm. So, it was uneventful. Well, <laughs> while we're on the topic of the same game, mm. um, oh no, this was um, Bloodborne, actually. Mm. Um, that Iron Giant in the, dun- in the Chalice Dungeons. You talking about the one that kept killing both of them? Yes, <laughs> with the damn iron ball. You see, was he even a boss? Yeah, yeah. He was a boss? Of that oh, okay. level, of that chalice. Yeah, he had like a, a ball in one hand and a, a, Can, like some, a chain some, thing some in the other shit. hand. It was a chain ball, I think, and he just... I don't swung. I don't remember his name, if his name was Iron Giant. I don't know if his Yeah, name. it was Iron Giant. It was Iron Giant, okay. Yeah. Iron Giant. And one swing would just take us out. No, I think he had a cannon, too. I'm not sure. Yeah, he, he literally killed us like... 50 plus times like and then that's, that's not even a joke not even a joke and i kept i kept convincing him to keep playing because he was like I'm, i don't want to do this anymore i'm like no we got to beat him <laughs> we gotta do this. <laughs> i think we did it like once and that was it. right yeah so um, crazy any yeah. place anybody else keto who you got yeah. Uh, for my fighting style games for my best i have another goat my man Hey Hachi, I love mm. him. Um, only because I love his fighting style. Um, I thoroughly enjoy fighting against him. I love the mechanics of the game with it. Mm. He's just he's one of the favorite fighting style games to fight against. Mm. For my worst, I'd say Goro from Mortal Kombat. Um, mm, the stomp in the air. <laughs> it's just fucking... for a man with like yeah. four arms and four hands, he mm-hmm. has no hands. Like mm-hmm. the mechanics of him is like <clears throat> clay. Like it's so slow. Mm-hmm. Like fighting him is just not. It's not satisfying. Which um, which uh, Mortal Kombat? I mean, Oops. in the series two of them. Or three. Well, oh yeah, he was a boss in um which uh he two. About two. I think. Two okay. Trilogy. Okay. Two and, okay. Motaro was another bitch too. I can't couldn't stand. Oh, whatever his name and, was. And yeah. Mm. I just didn't like the mechanics. Like, it, are are we grappling here? Like, what what mm. are you doing? I, I don't know. Just no hands. He was a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Egypt. Um. Um. Oh, sorry. Um. For my best, sorry. It's for adventure. You guys. I was quick. Um, for my best adventure, I have to read how to say this guy's name. Sorry. 
Um, I have this listed for this is an event. Is this a beat em up? I don't really think this is considered a beat em up. This is more of a cinematic adventure fighting game up until you get to the boss. But anyway, I have Azura's Wrath uh, listed. Um, Chakra Chakra Vartan. Oh, That's yeah. Chakra mm. Vartan. <laughs> Man. I don't think I've ever beat that guy. Oh, I have man. him for the best, uh, I guess, for that game mm. because of pretty much it's self-explanatory. And if not, then you get to fight the God of Mantra or at least their image. That of huge, the, uh, that huge piss coming down. Is that that? The black, the black one. Yeah, the black. Yeah, the black okay. and silver. Um, he's the true final boss. He no, has, but who, like, who's the one with the big ass fist coming to Earth, and you got to stop the this from hitting the earth or something. It's like a why, huge ass. Why, why is him? No, why is him? Well, that's oh, why is okay. him? The fat dude, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is the fat dude. You're right. When he go really big, you're right. He does something else in outer space and that... Sorry, yes. Mm. Yeah, you still beat the shit out of Wise. But, um, yes, uh, this will be my this will be my best for that fight. The whole fight is just very... It's beautiful. Mm. And you get to beat the shit out of the guy who's actually behind, who's you know, pretty much the kidnapping of your daughter, Mithra. Mm -hmm. um, and it is really just great. If you haven't even tried or seen this fight or anything, mm -hmm. I don't even want to give spoilers. Mm -hmm. But uh, the most that I would say is Azura, he develops this new form, which is the reason why it's the best. Mm -hmm. He develops this new form on top of the forms he already had. And uh, man, it's just it's just better than his Vajra form, where he has mm -hmm. his arms. And you, you just, it's kind of a mixture, to be honest. But Mm. That'll be my best. And um, for my worst, um, I would say this is still an adventure game, but it's kind of a branch off. For my worst bo of bosses, it's going to be, this is the 2006 release of Sonic the Hedgehog, mm. and it would be Silver the Hedgehog, um, the boss on Silver the Hedgehog. This is entirely the worst, the worst category. It really goes for here. The mechanics of that fight, Everything about that fight, uh, it's terrible. You start off in front of two rings. You're supposed to run towards them. That's what they want you to think. But he grabs you. Throughout the whole fight, he grabs you. And if you go for the rings, he'll grab you and put you in like a fucking fighting game loop combo. And he'll mm. throw you against the wall. Wow. And you'll like land kind of halfway on the wall and on the ground to where Sonic, in his animation, he'll get up. And Shadow, I'm not sorry, Silver will already be right there. Oh, mm. and on top of it, the ring that you lost, it will land right on top of you. So he mm. just has you in this loop where he's just grabbing you, smacking you against the wall. Ring, grabbing you, smacking you against the wall. Uh, it's, uh, it's fucked up. It's very mm. annoying. Mm. You, the only mm. thing you can do is just, you have to reset the fight. Mm. So that's, this is terrible. That would be for my worst. <laughs> hmm. Any more tango? Um, I just want to capitalize on Adashira's wrath. Um, I enjoy fighting. Uh, what the hell was his name? The uh, brother, um, Yaksha, Yasha. Yasha, yes, Yasha. Yasha. That was a that was a cool fight. Him, though I didn't, I was sad about that. I was. Yeah. No, but it was it was a dope like a brotherly fight. You know, it's always nice yeah. to have one of those. Yeah, you got of it. Yeah, I just the image was hurtful, but yeah, that was a great fight. Honestly, the whole way through. But um, I'm gonna just do one more for me. Um, mm. Yang from Sifu. Mm. Um, very masterful and um, graceful, master, you know, um, martial artist. So it's like you have to be very on point with your counters and your dodging. Is that and, the one um, in the um, bamboo thicket thing? No, that's that's the first boss. Uh, Far oh. Far Faraj or whatever his name is. Mm. Um, the last one, yeah. Okay. His master is um, yeah, he's a beast, bro. Like oh, the last I, boss. Yeah, okay. the last boss. I still haven't beat him yet, but um, that you was gotta, definitely oh, a fight. Shit, dog. You gotta, yeah, you gotta know your shit in Sifu, so that's definitely worth a mention. All right, so that's been um, BPC's best and um, worst bosses. Um, we hope you enjoyed the segment, and um, make sure to like, subscribe, or comment, or all three, or whatever. <laughs> to any one of our social media channels and um see you next time peace out bye